Hi, to write a solution for counting sort in JavaScript, the first thing we do is actually to check the, the our input values. So our input array must only have a value of zero or value of uh, positive integers. So in case of you are having a float or negative numbers inside your input array, so counting sort is not a good solution for that. And uh, you can use this code snippet to actually detect these values and the output, output, um, you know, output the uh, the feedback to users. So uh, let's move on. Counting sort is uh, it only accept zero and uh, positive values is because it's unique uh, algorithm data structure. So for any given array. The first thing we do is declare a counting array, which having uh, a key value pairs, key represents the available elements, and uh, value uh, stands for the number of occurrence of a particular element. So our counting array will look like this in the end, by having one, uh, having three occurrence, two have two occurrence, and three have one occurrence, and uh, we will then declare a range array, which will tell us uh, the positions of uh, where we put our keys to our sorted array. So it's going to be like this. From for first element value of one, uh, we will keep the value here. So from position one to position three, we input value of one. Then we use the value for position one. We use the value for for one and add it by the number of occurrence of two. We get five. So from three to five is where we put our number two. So for number three, we use this five and add the number of occurrence for three. We get six. Then from five to six is where we put our number three. So this is how counting algorithm works. If uh, you are if uh, you are not using a programming language to write it to process it, but if you're using a programming language, it will look a little bit different. Um, the first thing we do is actually in programming language, for example JavaScript. The first thing we do is to declare a counting array and initialize it with an array of size max value plus one so that uh, we will get an uh, array of sites 4. Therefore, we get index from 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Then we can use our index of the counting array to represent the value of the input array. So that's why we only accept uh, number 0 and uh, positive integers, because we are using the array's index to represent the value inside the input array. So uh, in this case, uh, we can our counting array will look like something like this. So for uh, value zero, there's zero index of zero occurrences. For value one, there's three uh, occurrences. For value two, there's two occurrences. For value three, there's one occurrence. So our result array will be uh, so we loop through this counting array and uh, use the index that we use and the value that pointed to this index to determine how many or uh, how we push the values inside our result array. So index one have the have number three. So we we push index one here for three times. We push two for two times. We push three for one time. That's how we get result array using counting sorts in JavaScript. So let, without further ado, let's run our function. So function called uh, counting sort, right? And it takes in an input array. And uh, like always, the first thing we do is to check if the input array is uh, having at least two elements or otherwise, we just return the input array. And then we can determine our max value so we can initialize the counting array. So we use max value equals to the first element of the input array. And then we write something like selection sort that i index uh, equals to 
one and the i smaller than input array dot launch plus plus loop through the rest of array from rest of the array from position one because the element in position zero is already stored in here. So we then we check if uh, input array at the index of uh, i is uh, bigger than max value. If so, we update the max value with the element we are currently pointing to. Then by the end of this uh, for loop, our max value is uh, obtained. So we can initialize our counting array with a new uh, array of uh, size uh, max value plus one. So we include the uh, zero index as well. So then our, we can start counting. We loop through. Uh, so we don't, in this for loop, we don't need the index of uh, input array. We just need to loop through each value inside of it. So we can use uh, let value of uh, input array here to loop through the array. So uh, we, then we, we check if counting uh, array at the index of value is undefined. So if it returns undefined, we, um, we initialize the, the placeholder with a value of zero, so then we uh, we increment it by one. So if if we just uh, use undefined and plus one, it won't equals to the it won't return us with the right number. So we need to initialize that with a number first, with a number first, and if it's uh, it returns undefined first. So by the end of this four block, I think our uh, counting array is uh, finished. So we can loop through the counting array here. But first, we uh, declare our result array. It's better this way. And initialize it with an empty array. Then we could uh, loop through our counting array. But in this case, we, we need the index because they are used to represent the values inside the input array. So i equals to zero as smaller than counting array dot plus and uh, i plus plus, right. So, but, so in here, we will check if the counting array at the index we are pointing to is has a number of occurs occurrence that are bigger than zero. If so, um, we will use our result array and uh, push uh, push the indexed, the value index inside. And uh, then we deduct the counting array at the index of i by one. Okay, so by the end of this four block, I think our our result array will be populated. So we just need to return the result array here. So let's let's uh, write a console dot log invoke our counting sort and pass in the unsorted array and test our solution. It's going to be node counting sort. So as you can see, our array is sorted. So this is uh, typically how you implement counting sort in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.